incurred nearly 50,000 and left around 500,000 of the 7.8 Welcome everyone. Welcome to e-informative series produced. Today we are going to discuss about the latest current affairs topic that is the earthquake that affected Turkey which has taken many civilians life with a magnitude of 7.5. Before going to earthquake let us have a glance about our earth. Our earth has divided into three layers, first one is core, second one is mantle and the third one is crust. I am going from bottom to top, okay. The first one is core, core is the deepest layer of the earth. <laughs> it is divided into outer core and inner core. Outer core is surrounded with both nickel and ferrous metals, but in the molten state because the core is surrounded with the highest temperature which existed in the earth approximately 5000 degrees so the metals cannot remain their solid state they are in a molten state but the inner layer inner layer of the core are having a solid layer of iron atoms because of the greatest gravitational force the iron metals remains as solid the second solid layer itself. is mantle okay it is a molten magma layer it is divided into upper mantle and lower mantle upper mantle with crust is known as lithosphere the sphere where life got existed and the lower mantle is known as asthenosphere where a thin layer of magma covered around it. It is a semi-liquid layer with a molten magma as we discussed above. And the third layer that is the surface layer it is a crust the thinner layer which is divided into various sections those are sections are known as tectonic plates. These tectonic plates are arranged as jigsaw puzzle. There are seven large plates and many minor plates. Around 350 million years ago, there existed a supercontinent that we all know that is Pangaea. That Pangaea was divided into seven continents due to the constant movement of tectonic plates. That is known as continental drift. The movement of tectonic plates is due to movement of molten magma through convection currents. Convection currents are continuous currents which moves molten magma. As the tectonic plates rise above the magma, the tectonic plates also follow the path, follows the path of magma. That is the reason for the movement of Pangaea into seven different The points. movements open a door for plate margins. There are various plate margins in which constructive plate margin is the first one. Two consecutive tectonic plates move far each other which forms a gap between them that let a magma to be out and settle down which forms volcano. Volcanic eruptions are due to constructive plate margins. And the second one is divergent, divergent plate margins. This is a movement when two plates move each other in the same direction which results the formation of trenches and folded mountains. Himalayas are also formed due to this activity as well. Sometimes earthquakes also be happened due to divergent plate margins. The third one is transformative plate margins. Two plates slide each other in opposite direction or in the same direction but in different speed. Here we got to know about plate margins. Now let us stick to our topic that is the earthquake. When tectonic plates experienced convergent plate margins or transformative plate margins then two consecutive tectonic plates got bind to each other because of friction between two plates. But their remaining neighbor plates continue their movements as they also got ignited with the force but the friction hinders the two consecutive plates. As the force gradually increases they were managed to overcome the friction then the stored energy started to transform into surface which causes the earthquake. Simply the two binded tectonic plates wants to move uh, along with their neighbor plates but their friction is hindering their movement. So it, it binds for certain time gradually the force overcomes the friction then that overcome energy will be managed to transmit all over the surface that, uh, that energy transformation causes earthquake that's it. 
that is a general overview about the earthquake now let us discuss about hypocenter and epicenter hypocenter hypocenter is the source for the energy transfer it is a point which transfers the energy to the surface and epicenter is a victim point which catches that uh, sharing energy uh, from the earth to the surface now the transmitter of energy forms through waves those waves are of two types body waves and surface waves number 1 body waves these are the waves which originated from the plate margins these body waves are also divided into two waves primary wave and secondary wave primary waves are also known as p waves these waves travel so fast that they can pass through solids liquids gases as well these are the first to reach surfaces these waves move parallel to the vibration and the second one is secondary waves these are also known as s waves these are the lazy waves that can only pass through solids itself these waves reach the surfaces and form surface waves actually secondary waves are bit laggy than the primary waves the combination of both primary and secondary waves forms surface waves the waves which reaches the surface is also known as surface waves these waves are destructive waves these waves are concentrated at epicenter this epicenter is located at fault plane zone as we are discussing that the turkey has got experienced the six consecutive earthquakes in recent times because turkey has uh, located in the fault plate zone fault fault plane zone is a victim of epicenter fault is the discontinuity occurred at crustal rocks these faults are responsible for major earthquakes okay by now we got a general overview now let's talk about the turkey earthquake turkey located on anatolian plateau the tectonic plate on which turkey resides is known as anatolian plate this anatolian plate is surrounded by african plate arabian plate and eurasian plate due to the movements of tectonic plates this arabian plate and african plate tends to move towards northern direction but the eurasian plate hinders their travel which squeezes the anatolian plate and the oceanic plates of african plate also move towards the anatolian plate but due to high density that plate follows beyond the anatolian plate that results the anatolian plate to along